morally, regardless of good or bad times. If one can practice accordingly, then one can master the fate of wealth and poverty. Therefore, when we are able to create and form our own destiny, it does not matter whether we are presently rich or poor. Just as a wealthy man should not become callous in his thoughts and actions because he is rich, a poor man should not resort to committing evil deeds due to his poverty. In either case, one should keep to one's place in society and be a virtuous person. The actions of worldly people usually follow their thoughts. Whatever has to be thought is not considered natural. Accomplish the state of no thought by reciting the Junti mantra continuously to overcome scattered thoughts in the mind. And when you recite, you must not think of reciting, but recite consciously and diligently without any attachment. When the reciting becomes second nature to you, it will be efficacious. My name used to be Xue Hai, which meant broad learning. But after having understood the fact that destiny is created by ourselves, I changed it to Liao Fan, which means transcending the mundane, because I did not wish to be like worldly people who allow destiny to control them. Oh, I see. From then on, I began to be constantly aware of my thoughts and actions. Soon I felt quite different from before. I became respectful, careful and conservative in my thoughts, speech and actions. I maintain this attitude even when I'm alone, for I know that there are spirits and gods everywhere who can see my every action and thought. Even when I encounter people who slander me, I can take their insults with a patient and peaceful mind. The year after I met Master Yun Gu, I took the preliminary imperial exam in which Mr. Kong had predicted I would come in third place. Amazingly, I came in first. Mr. Kong's predictions were beginning to lose their accuracy. Examination, but I did. Master Yun Gu had said that destiny could be changed, and now I believe it more than ever. Although I had corrected a lot of my faults, I found that I could not wholeheartedly do the things I ought to do. Even if I did, it was forced and unnatural. I reflected within and found that there were still many things wrong in not being eager enough to do it, or harboring doubts when helping others in need. Sometimes I forced myself to act kindly, but my speech was still untamed and offensive. I found that I could contain myself.